Hi, my crafty friends, and welcome to Party at Home with Diane. Look who's feeling better. Um, I think I'm over the hump now and on my way to feeling a lot better. I can breathe better. I'm off like half of my meds that they put me on. Um, this virus just really kicked my can. So anyway, I thought I would come in live and on person or in person and um, just say hi and I've decided to release videos on Thursdays from now on. It just seems to work out a little bit better for me and a lot of people are releasing videos on Tuesdays and I seem to be getting lost in that big huge lake of videos. So I'm moving it into Thursdays. Yay! But I'll still have at least one video, hopefully two a week. So you're gonna be like, I thought you were a card crafter. I am, but I'm also a craftaholic. So I moved my craft stuff from upstairs. I had it up there when I wasn't feeling good because I couldn't come downstairs to craft. And so I moved all my paper crafting upstairs to our dining room table. Now that I'm feeling better and can go up and down the stairs, I moved them downstairs and I don't have any room. I'm not one of those people that have tons and tons of space to craft. You know, a lot of us don't have a lot of space. So I had to combine my sewing and my crafting space together. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. I still cough when I talk, but it, it's a lot, lot better. And so anyway, so this is my sewing now slash crafting room. And you'll see behind me, I'm a quilter. Oh, two of my quilts have fallen off the wall. Um, I like to do um, wall hangings um, type quilts. And this one right here was getting ready to go last year into the state fair, but they canceled it. So I'm waiting to find out if I can enter it this year. Um, this one right here is one I made for one of my sisters and I still haven't given it to her. I keep forgetting. Every time I go to see her, I get to her house and it's like, oh, it's still on the wall. This one, I just love. I had so much fun crafting that one, the, the bird. I call her um, the rainy day bird. Um, and I just love her. That one was lots of fun to make. So um, in my little crafting area, that side of the rec room, is where I have my big long arm machine, um, the ironing board, my heat press, um, my quilting wall with um, projects that I need to finish, my husband's exercise equipment, my fabric storage, my, my um, thread storage, and then this is my sewing area here. See, I'm a craftaholic. So I'm going to move and you're going to be like, oh my gosh, girlfriend, you need to clean. Yeah, I know. But you know, when you don't feel good, if you want to craft, you craft and you can clean up later. So anyway, this is my work area. So let's come down. See if I can come down a little bit. This is the area where I have to do all my videos and all my crafting. Um, I normally put my camera right here so it's facing down right there there's all my finished projects in that bin this bin is my papers my dies and my stamps um, that I'm using over here is my six by six papers and projects that I'm working on like here's a card I'm gonna do a, a video on making that card. That one was lots of fun to do and there's all my pieces ready to go. Uh, you know, crafters have a hard time throwing away pieces. So I save all my scraps in this. When it gets too full, then it's time to get rid of some stuff. But you never know when you're gonna need a little piece of black paper or the bottom of that right down here I could still use. So I saved my itty bitty pieces. Um, this is leftovers from, um, from a card that I did, the peaches card. So this is all the leftovers from that. 
I don't know, I tell you. This is a day in the life of me crafting. Here is a template of a project that I'm gonna video pretty soon. Um, so this would be the front and it opens up like a book, but it's all done with an eight and a half by 11 piece of paper. So that's something to look forward to. Here's another project that I'm working on. Here's a sneak peek. Those are my dimensions. There's part of it right there. And I will be doing a video on that now that I'm starting to feel better. I did all the cutting. It's in my little zipper bag ready to go. So I have all those there. I have two notebooks, three notebooks over there um, that when I come up with an idea and I want to remember it, I write it in there. Or if I'm making a card, um, as the idea is going through my head, I write everything down on a scrap piece of paper. So when I come back, I know exactly what I did instead of having to try to remember what I did. Cause you know, it happens. Um, I have a little cart over here that has my inks and all my little gadgets and gizmos and whatever. So I'm going to move this, take this off and show you right down here you go there's my little cart and i have my my cutters down here my plates um i have the um, tonic stamping platform i have a cameo three like i told you i am a craft junkie here we go and so so I am a craft junkie. And when I say I'm a craft junkie, I mean, I am a craft, craftaholic. I think I have a serious problem. I need to go to like Crafters Anonymous or something. So anyway, I just wanted to pop on and say, hi, I am still working on videos. I'm alive. This is what I look like post the virus. And um, hopefully I will be able to lose all that, um, weight that I gained from being on all the steroids and all that stuff. That's just vanity, but it is what it is. So anyway, happy crafting. I will release more videos soon. And again, just wanted to give you a face-to-face -face time with me and what my craft room looks like. <laughs> happy stamping, and I will see you soon.